Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to do a shoulder and bicep workout. Starting off with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side, making sure we have good mobility before our workouts. Now, I always do mention this, if you prefer to do, you can and should definitely do a 5 minute cardio session. It could be cycling, rowing, elliptical, running, anything which you prefer to do so just to get your heartbeat up. Anything more than 5 minutes is not necessary before a workout because we want to save it out for post-workout. Now, we also want to add a couple of dynamic stretches in target with any kind of restrictions which you have in particular. Otherwise, the greater stretch and a deep squat should be good to go. Now, you have to make sure that you squat deep at least once in a day. I prefer to do that pre-workout just to ensure that my hips are good to go, my ankle mobility is good. Even though I'm not working out on my legs, I make sure I squat every day deep at least once. Now to start off with, we're going to start with a small mobility drill wherein we are going to take a, I think 10 to 15 kilograms plate is sufficient. You can also go with a 15, uh, 5 kilogram plate and that would be fine too and take it around our head 10 times in each direction. So starting off from left, going to right and then starting off to right, going to left 10 times each side. You can do it a couple of times to accumulate 20 repetitions just to get, take our shoulder to the entire range of its motion, the ball and socket joint, external and internal rotation. And after completing those, doing a couple of, um, actually a handful of overhead presses to also make sure the stability is good to go before we start off with our shoulder workouts. In today's workout, we are going to mostly focus on full range of motion and controlled eccentric motions. So starting off with dumbbell lateral races, I have done three sets of these 12 repetitions with 45 seconds break in between. Now, as you can see in the video, I am taking it to the absolute complete range of motion. Now, for any reason, if you feel any kind of discomfort, stop where you are unable to go any forward and from there come down. Because some people might feel a little bit of pinching pain as they go and try to touch their arms together. And if you do that, if you do feel that, it's absolutely okay just to come down from there and not go beyond that point. For me, my shoulders are healthy and I'm able to go in the complete range of motion of my ball and socket joint. So I am doing that. And as you can see, as I come down, I have absolute control of the weight, no matter which weight I'm holding on to. That's the reason I don't go extremely heavy because I want to challenge myself with just enough weight so that I can control the range of motion and also the eccentric part of the exercise. Post completing the dumbbell one, we move on to cable lateral races, three sets, 12 repetitions without a break from one arm to the other with 45 seconds break in between after completing both the arms. Here too, I take my arm to complete range of motion from top to down as far up as possible and as far behind as possible to create a stretch and the con concentric motion of the muscle. Now make sure you let the cable always be under tension so the cable is never actually resting it's always under tension so you stand a little bit away from the equipment and as you can see here I take it far up and then as I come down I control the eccentric portion and then as I move behind my body, I create a stretch on my lateral muscle. And this should be enough to start giving you a good amount of blood flow and pump. Post completing our first shoulder bit, we move on to our bicep exercises wherein we do high cable curls, 3 sets, 20 repetitions, the usual. I have been doing this for the past, I don't even remember, maybe a month or two. But these are highly effective in training your long head and you have to make sure you keep your chest away from your shoulder joint. As you can see how I position myself, look down, look forward, pull your chest away from your shoulder, create that stretch and in that posture you start curling. Make sure again 
the cable should be always under constant tension. So the cable is never going to rest. There's always a pull on the cable. So we, you know, maximize the amount of uh, tension the cable can create on our muscles. If the cable starts resting, we are basically taking a break, which we don't want to. We want our muscle to be in, under constant tension and we want to train under constant tension. After completing the high cable curls, I moved on to dumbbell ray delt raises, three sets, 20 repetitions with a 45 second, 45 to 60 seconds break in between. Here too, I started focusing on controlling the eccentric motion as much as possible. Here, it's quite challenging because the muscle which we are training is quite small and the weight is absolutely trying to fall down thanks to gravity. So control it as much as possible so you don't swing a lot. But at the same time, let the free range of motion be there because you might fatigue or hurt yourself if you try to control it a lot. We want to achieve those 20 repetitions. Here you can see clearly how my back muscles, especially my rear delt, is working really hard to get the weight up behind me, beside my hips. Make sure the weight which you choose is allowing you to achieve those 20 repetitions in a controlled manner. Now we move back to our bicep training again, wherein we do regular grip barbell curls, three sets, 15 plus pause repetitions, wherein we accumulate another 20 repetitions in five repetition intervals. So a total of 35 repetitions each set. Since it's a long and heavy volume set, we take at least 60 seconds rest in between. I sometimes like to hold the barbell with my wrist, uh, I would say my palms facing forward, wrist slightly bent because it gives me a lot more contraction in my bicep muscle and also eases out the amount of strain on my wrist. You can also do that by using an easy bar but I prefer doing it with a straight bar. It gives me a better connection. This all comes down to personal preferences so I would suggest if you want try both the bubbles easy bar and a straight bar and see what connects to you best and which way holding it gives you the best amount of contractions in your bicep. Post completing my bicep work we move back to the shoulder work again wherein we do overhead press slightly inclined and absolutely controlled eccentric uh, motion wherein while getting the weight down back to onto our shoulders we control it we take it as slow as possible maybe even three to four seconds and we need to just do 10 repetitions of this i'm i assure you you will feel an immense amount of work done on your shoulder muscles because of the controlled eccentric motion now you can also do this on exercise on an inclined bench which i used to do previously since all the benches were occupied i prefer to do this on a shoulder press bench but otherwise you can definitely do this on an inclined bench also you might feel initially a little bit of restriction on your back because as you press yourself behind and try to press up you feel a little bit restricted try to position yourself in such a way that you can overcome the restriction post completing those i moved on to my reverse grip bubble curls so i can train a little bit of my forearm muscles now while doing this repetitions also you have to focus on the eccentric motion go as slow as possible as you're lowering the weight down three sets of these 15 repetitions the weight can remain same or you can add a progressive overload here i chose to go with a easy bar because it puts my wrist at a little bit more comfort in terms of holding the bar and gives me a lot more a uh, range of motion in terms of contracting my biceps because with a straight bar i feel a little bit of restriction wherein i don't get maximum amount of contraction or the squeeze of my bicep muscle but with an easy bar with my wrist slightly i you would say pronated it gives me a little bit more range of motion and i feel a better contraction again very specific to me you might want to do, try it out for yourself and see which works best post that we move to around the walls on an incline bench three sets as many repetitions as possible extremely demanding on your rear and your lateral delts front delts are also working but extreme amount of stress on your rear and your lateral delts to get those 3d 
sculpted shoulder muscles. As you can see, as I was trying to even take the 5 kilos around the world, my biceps, my shoulder muscles were completely on fire thanks to all those volume exercises which I have done till now. So much that I had to get down to smaller weights to control the repetitions because if you not controlling the repetitions if you're not doing it slow and in a full range of motion you're effectively giving off half of your gains so you want to control it not let momentum take over and to do that you need to humble yourself by taking smaller weights and not going extremely heavy so here you can see i control the weight as i go i never let the weight pull me down i take it down as i wish to do and that's it for today. We will finish off with a vertical hang to decompress our shoulders, stretch our biceps and also at the same time train our forearm uh, endurance a little bit. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comments are highly appreciated. I know there are a few new subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I welcome you here. I'll keep on uploading my regular workouts on a regular basis so that you can work out along with me. I hope the workouts are really effective for you as they are for me. And thanks for joining me in my transformation journey. Have a good day and I will see you in the next video.